Assalamu alaikum friends. Today we will discuss white blood cells that are leukocytes. This topic is from 11th class biology chapter number 14. As you know there are three types of blood cells that are red blood cells, white blood cells and plate plates. We have discussed red blood cells in previous lecture. Today we will discuss white blood cells and in the next lecture we will discuss platelets. Bright blood cells, they are also called leukocytes. These blood cells are colorless as they don't contain pigments. One cubic millimeter of blood contains 7,000 to 8,000 of them. They are much larger than the red blood cells. They are larger and red blood cells are smaller. And there is only one type of red blood cells. But there are not one type of white blood cells. There are five different types of red blood cells are present. And they can be distinguished based on the shape of the nucleus and the density of granules in the cytoplasm. We can distinguish these five types of white blood cells on two bases. The first, shape of nucleus and the second is the density of granules in the cytoplasm. Five different types of white blood cells are, the first type is eosinophils, as you can see here. In all these shape, types, the shape of nucleus is different. Basophil, neutrophil, lymphocyte and monocyte. We can divide these five types into two groups, granulocytes and agranulocytes. You can see here, granulocytes, they have granules in cytoplasm, a granulocytes without granules in cytoplasm. Granulocytes, we can place neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil in granulocytes. And we can place monocyte and lymphocyte. There are two types of lymphocyte B and T that we have discussed in lecture of immunity. Our granulocyte that is lymphocyte and monocyte. Our granulocytes are formed in lymphoid tissue such as those of lymph nodes, spleen, tonsils, adenoid and thymus. You can see here thymus gland. Let's start their function. Monocyte stay from 10 to 20 hours in the blood then enter tissue and become tissue macrophage. Monocyte. It becomes tissue macrophages performing phagocytic function. Phagocytic function that is eating process, engulfing process. Lymphocytes have lifespan of month or even year but this depends on the body's need for these cells. Lymphocytes play important role in body immunity. What are the function of monocyte and neutrophil? Monocyte and neutrophil travel through capillaries and reach the site of wound where bacteria have gained entry. Macrophages and neutrophils feed on bacteria, invaders or other foreign cells including cancer cells. They typically die in the process and their dead bodies accumulate and contribute to the white substance called pus seen at infection. Site. Monocyte and neutrophil, they move where they find wound in our body. There they fight with bacteria or germs or cancer cells and during the, their fight they convert into pus cell. What is the function of basophil? Basophil produce a substance called heparin. Heparin inhibit blood clotting. Whenever blood is present in blood vessels, it can't clot. 
for blood clotting platelets play important role that i will discuss in next lecture and the second substance that basophil produce is histamine histamine participate in allergic reaction and in response to tissue damage and microbial invasion lymphocytes help to provide immunity against the disease you can watch a complete video on immunity and the role of lymphocyte leukocytes that is white blood cells protect the body against foreign invaders and use circulatory system to travel to the site of invasion your white blood cells account for only about 1% of your blood but their impact is big white blood cells are also called leukocytes they protect you against illness and disease think of white blood cells as your immunity cell in a sense they are always at war they flow through your blood stream to fight virus bacteria and other foreign invaders that threaten your health with that we have completed our lecture thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe share and comment